get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 hosts in-person VIP events and masterminds for top entrepreneurs all over the country, including many events in the e-commerce industry, uh, Rise 25, we hosted events this past year in Austin, Chicago, Santa Barbara, San Diego, New York, Sonoma, Las Vegas, and probably coming to a city near you. So this interview is going to be especially relevant, which you'll see in a minute. Um, and if you see the value of immersing yourself with other top entrepreneurs to connect and collaborate to get your business to the next level, go to rise25.com, contact us to find out when and where our next event is going to be. And this person today is a master of events. Today we have Mayank Chowdhury, founder of 10times.com. If you haven't heard of 10times.com, you have to check it out. 10times is the world's largest service provider for business events. So why you mention a service provider? Yeah. So, so we are not a service provider. We are a platform. Yeah, a platform, right. Yeah, I mean, you provide a platform where people can list any type of event possible business events um, and they change the way millions of users discover and experience events they have over 4 million views per month 2 million registered users 270,000 events and over 70,000 organizers using the site and it's the only event platform that also gives event ratings um, if that wasn't enough Mayank also co-founded hellotravel.com which he built from scratch in four years to over $2 million per year, which helped connect travelers to travel agents. Mayank, thanks for joining me. Yeah, hi, Jerry. How are you? Good. So I want to talk about the inception. So before this, you were working for the largest India Mart. Yes, right? so it's the largest... Doing? So I was uh, in the initiative division, so whereby my idea, uh, my job is to make uh, different, different ideas and create different, different business ventures. So uh, in the India Mart, I created many, many small, small ventures. So mainly, which are the integral part of uh, India Mart and which can be plugged and integrated into it. You were incubating some of the ideas that, for the yes. platform. So was that pre-Hello Travel? So Hello Travel was uh, in the India Mart itself. So it's uh, basically a ah, subsidiary of Mart. Very cool. So how did you get the idea for 10 times? So we were dealing with the SMEs and the business world. And uh, while dealing with them, a lot of SMEs and business world visit trade shows and business events to find and look for new opportunities. And at that time, the that data to for a user to even look for a hunt for an event, uh, which event to go and where to go, that data was not available at that time on internet. Hmm. So we started with the curation of that data. So we basically mined that data, curated that data from the publisher, from the article, from the news portal, and by visiting the data uh, events and all, and we created a platform and to give the users basically an experience so that they can find an event which would be relevant for their businesses to grow. Yeah. So that was the starting point. And while this journey, uh, we keep on adding a lot of value added information which can help the user to decide on, ki, okay, this is the event I want to go and whom to meet, where to meet, what that person background is. These are the all things which we help to find him a better opportunities. How is Mac? How is uh, ten times evolved? Because you started this in 2012. So tell me about what did what was it like then, and what is it like now that you've built on that has improved it? So, so uh, at then it was simple a uh, directory of events. 
So you can just click on say a uh, category for example agriculture or apparel or events in India and you can see browse the events. Now it's more of for end to end networking kind of portal where you can see and also find a people and visitor going to an event or right. like mind Oh so like yeah. you can connect with other people going to the event if you don't know anyone. Yes, yes. suppose you are going to uh, say uh, so some PR event and you can find who else is coming to that PR event hmm. and can I schedule a meeting with that person before so that when you are visiting an event your lot of time is not uh, wasted in finding whom to connect whom to meet where 100%. you have a period of time. yes yeah you're hunting so, around for who else should I talk to while you're there and you're not actually experiencing as much of the event yes and the second good point is suppose if you are chasing any uh, say Mark Zuckerberg for an interview you start following that Mark Zuckerberg on the platform and you will see okay he is attending this, this event so let me also go to that event and meet him mm. so you can follow his calendar really yeah so 10 times as like you put a bug on influencers so that we could track where they're walking yes I'm totally kidding with you um, <laughs> that's really interesting what else you know there's a someone who goes to a lot of conferences of events this is fascinating what else other features should people know about 10 times so uh, so 10 times basically help you uh, say it's basically an influencing platform Say suppose uh, if you want to grow, you have to meet people and you can only meet people physically and and you meet people at events. So 10 times, first of all, you find an event to discover where you should go. Once you show that intent, the platform tools and features like connecting with the people, you getting a meeting request, you following the other person, it all helps you to increase your intent to visit an event to actual footfall. And while you are going over there, we help you to monetize and optimize your time in such a way that while you are at the event, you meet the right kind of people which are helpful and meets your agenda to visit that event. Yeah. So that is something which is not available. Suppose uh, one more use case, uh, you are in suppose New York and you are visiting an event in New Delhi. So you can see, okay, who else is coming from New York to New Delhi? So you can group plan travel together and save money out of it. So these are all the benefits which you can get on the platform. This is great. I love this. <clears throat> what is, I guess, early on, talk about what did the company look like? Because right now you have a big team of people. Was it just are, you coding something up? What was it like in the beginning? No, no. So we are a team of almost 48 people right now. Right. And we have only one office, which is based out of uh, Delhi NCR, uh, New Delhi, India. Uh, and we sit in this office and we operate from this office and we have a clients from all over the world. So early on though, was it, did you start it with someone else? Did you, did you hire a developer or did you code up the first site? So, so again, so since I was involved with India Mart lot of, uh, from the ages, so, uh, this, the entire uh, business has been supported and funded by India Mart. Oh wow! So, oh, that's great. Yes. So, so you were uh, able to right off the bat build out a robust platform because yes. you had the resources. So in this, initially, we got the support and the funding from the India Mart, and now we are almost cash flow positive and making profits and doing good. So we are almost have a fifty people team to support and grow that business. So how did you? It's also a really amazing feat to get millions of visitors to a site per month. Yes. How did you navigate that? How did you get so much uh, eyeballs on your site? So first of all, we have the early mover advantage since uh, since the inception, since there was no platform or no data available or of such kind on the internet. So. Since we got the early mover advantage, we uh, the Google gave us some benefit of uh, early mover and start showing in all the listings in SEO. So we get got a uh, good amount of leverage from Google SEO. Yeah. And as we build, so we uh, since you become the loyal user, so we start getting a lot of direct and repeat user, and that that keep on increasing the user base and a journey to four million page views. Wow, what some. You, you probably have your finger on the pulse of all these conferences and events, right? Because you see them across your desk. What are some must-go-to ones in the U.S. for people? 
business wise? Sorry, you voice your voice was cracking. Um, what's some must go to events in the US? So must see, uh, it's not about the must go to events since it's a business event. So probably if you are in the apparel sector, the must go to event would be magic, Las Vegas. So if it's all about the sectoral events. So depending on the sector, they are uh, must go to events. And we do have a list of top 100 events in uh, country. Mm -hmm. So on the side, you can go to a section top 100 and see list depending on the category or on the basis of the country and see which are the top 100 events. Yeah. Any in the e-commerce space that you've seen are popular you'd recommend? So in e-commerce space, uh, let me check what you see even keeps trending changes. So just a second. So there's a text world Paris, which is also related to apparel, which is a very good event. So in health sector, there is a Arab Health Medica in Germany. Hmm. These are so it's pretty international. It's not just U.S. It's all over the the country. Uh, um, what have you seen, Mike, with running ten times? Um, some of the challenges with growing and running the company. So. Uh, Obviously, challenges is keep from sitting from India and uh, since our market is global, so we have to uh, manage the entire global, uh, say, dynamics and uh, clientele and uh, that is pretty tough to manage it from the India. So we would probably expand to offices uh, overseas and try to capture that. And obviously, since we are still growing and early stage startup and building up a good decentized company, so talent is something uh, which is the second problem. So you have to have a good talent base. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, what about um, growth? What do you see? Where do you see the trends in events and conferences and your your platform? For example? Yeah, for example, like are you seeing certain things become more popular? Are you seeing certain technologies like you had mentioned? Um, like the ratings, uh, people are going to the ratings or using the ratings or people are using more, um, oh, who else is going to the conference? What do you see kind of, as, I guess, as the forefront of how 10 times will improve or add things in the future? So uh, two things which are getting popular. First of all, uh, the connect feature. Since it's build, becoming a networking kind of people, Apart from the event discovery, more and more people are finding a people discovery also to whom to meet and connecting with them. So we are seeing a lot of engagement building around the, okay, you sending a meeting request or you sending a business proposal as an opportunity to connect and to do business and find opportunity and meeting and scheduling at an event. That is something which is increasing a lot. And the exhibitors who are the major stakeholders for an event. They are coming on the platform and uh, building their prospects to visit their event and increasing their ROI. Yeah. So talk about. I want to talk about get your event featured piece of your site, okay? And how is that you could showcase to nineteen million eight hundred fifty thousand event goers worldwide. Talk about how that get your event featured piece works on the site. So, uh, event feature piece works on two things. One is the user interest area, and the second thing is the how popular that event is. And third angle is the uh, is it a, a say a event which has been promoted on the system. Yeah. So the algo works on the mix of three things. Say so suppose you came on the platform and you start browsing uh, event related to e-commerce, then. We have a data point and we have a okay, you are interested in an e-commerce type of event and you are looking for e-commerce type of event in USA. So we we and on the other side we have from the entire database of two like fifty thousand events. So we have a database, okay. These are the popular e-commerce event which is in the US and coming up in next uh, couple of months. So they, here is we have a user and here we have a database and how we can match that to him give you the right kind of event. 
plus we have some advantage and scoring build over for a paid promotion event where we organically push some paid event to market those events so it's a basically a, a revenue generation for us yeah because a company could pay you know like 99 dollars and get a lot of exposure it sounds like yes yes um so suppose you have an event uh, basically uh, for an event what you need you need more visitors and footfall to yeah. make your event successful and suppose if you have a new event and uh, or you want to increase your footfall for an event what you will do right now you will go to a media magazine or the sectoral magazine to advertise your event or even you do some digital marketing so so those people come on the platform because they get the very targeted audience who just want to visit an event or want to explore that e uh, events to attend so it makes a real sense or best sense for them to have the event present over here and uh, get the uh, better targeted audience yeah you know one question mac i have is obviously all events all conference organizers want more attendees you know that's why they go on your platform that's why you know when they're marketing it what have you seen that has worked um to get more people to events maybe it's something out of the ordinary obviously one thing would be you know listing on uh you know 10 times but outside of that what else have you seen that's worked for conference and event organizers to get more attendees to their event so uh here so since uh, the biggest advantage uh, what they are getting over here since it's an international platform so suppose if you have a uh, event uh, which is very specific to your country you can easily promote your event in your country and get your local audience what is tougher for them to get the international audience and the event value changes when an event is changed from a local event to an international audience event so for them this is the real value on the platform because while listing on the uh, 10 times they are getting the international exposure and the international people showing their interest to attend that event and suddenly the event become from local to international and that is something which is uh, say eye opener for them and makes a best uh, value roi driven advertisement proposition for them to be on 10 times so what about you know mike it seems like you've always had that entrepreneurial spirit and bug in you when you were growing up what did you want to do so uh, i come from a basically a business family yeah uh, so in india uh, there is a concept of joint family so all the forefathers grandfathers and father were living under the one family and they have all the businesses joined so i always grew up in the environment where we have a businesses of almost 20 different time, kinds of businesses so my ambition was always be to build some business and keep building new new businesses so mature one business build new business mature that business build new business mature that business even from the childhood i have been involved in say from uh, from say trading something to seeing um, how things get manufactured yeah from a distributor yeah. supply chain to how uh, cnf uh, supply chain works so that is something uh, which i always wanted to and that is something the entrepreneur something okay keep trying new things keep adding value to the existing product and keep uh, getting uh, giving more and more value to all the users and change uh, something what we can change so man you know for people out there let's say they've never been to india before right they're in the us what's it like growing up in india so uh growing up in india is uh, say a uh, in outside world i compare to thing in outside world everything is pretty organized so when you be a part of organized system you tend to think in that way okay i have to do this and i have to do this next time but in india things are not organized you have to find and you have to find your own way you have to struggle and to make the things happen like so what you know, what's not organized there that is here what would be an example everything is organized so so every time so for example uh if you are traveling somewhere and if you are going to an airport maybe uh, say transport system is organized and you can predict okay i will reach airport in one hour but india it might take okay normally take one hour it might take 10 hours or it might take 10 hours. hours so 
yeah why so if things are not organized so you have to be very smart and very very alertive every time okay this may wrong this may go wrong or this may uh, can happen so every you time you have to foresee mind, all these issues that yeah. may come about this is how you have been not things has changed so while we were in young age so things were not so organized not things has been organized so we were very fortunate to be in, in that environments and we were fortunate to be have trained our mind such a way so even if there is a problem in the company so we have ten solution ready because we have been in such situation over while growing up so that is something which is yeah. in india what's something like that that happened to you growing up that you thought maybe it was going to the airport and you thought it take an hour and took 10 hours what was something just way out of the ordinary that you had to problem solve like that so uh, let me think so let me share one experience so uh, I was going for a vacation. Okay, that day there was a national holiday in India. So normally, uh, if you go by a public transport to uh, say railway station or airport, you typically you will reach in one hour. Okay, that day I took two hours uh, as a buffer. Okay, I one hour is a normal time. Let yes. me take a buffer of one hour. Suddenly, when I reached to the metro station, train frequency was almost. Uh, in normal days from 5 minute frequency it was a 30 minute frequency so my buffer almost finished over there so i i have to change my train again metro to take a new uh, train from a metro station there again the frequency from 5 minutes to 30 minutes so so these are the thing uh, which and at the time when you are entering the platform station you reach okay 5 minute late and hoping that the train is missed i missed the train and suddenly you realize okay that train is also late so so things happen that way yeah so it went from 1 hour to like 4 hours or something yes and yeah. that train delayed so you were uh, fortunate enough to catch their train interesting so you know my thank you for shedding some light on 10 times cuz until recently i just heard about it and so i'm glad i found out about it so i wanted to share it with my audience um i always like to ask since it's inspired insider two things one what has been the lowest moment that you like tough time that you had to push through and on the flip side what's been a proud moment some milestones start off with what's been a low point in 10 times and or a tough time you had to push through so chef time is uh, so around two uh, when we started after one year of the inception and everything was doing fine uh, we uh, we we were almost negative in cash flow hmm. and we, we were losing money and at that time we uh, to obviously uh, to run a business you need money to support that business and at that time we were almost having a zero balance in the bank account so at that time to uh, and we were a team of 20 people at that time and we were not having uh, money to so even give to the salaries so at wow. that time we just started okay we will build that team again so and we cracked that thing we built the confidence in the team we motivated the team and we are now uh, having a very decent size and growing team so that was the uh, uh, flip movement and that was the protest movement too how so, did you turn it around going from the cash flow wasn't there to actually having it come in so again so uh, it's more of a uh, say uh, coordinating with the entire team telling them this uh, the right situation what we are into and at the same time making them believe okay we are building something which is great mm -hmm. and which is very something and once the people start believing it the their results double triple four times mm. and that is what we have so we sharing the vision with them yes so what did you share with them that motivated them what was the vision or what is the vision that they saw so vision, so vision is something since we are building up a the event discovery platform there is no uh, discovery platform we can be a number one leading discovery platform and it will lead to a business networking platform so we have we are in the best position and the best place right now to be in the number one business networking platform built around events and everyone believe that vision and since there was no player at that time and even now 
so we stood by that vision and everyone is working to shape that vision and hopefully say in the next couple of years we would uh, be at that vision nice so mike i want to be the first one to thank you i really appreciate you sharing this everyone should go to 10times.com that's the number 10 times.com where else is there any other places they should check out on the web or is that the best place 10 times is the best place cool mike anything else from the journey or from the company that we should make sure uh to share with the audience uh you should also mention the name of my another co-founder atul todi how did you meet him so uh, since we come from the same business background so we uh, came to know each other through a common friend and uh, atul todi was also have uh, have um, say made two three startup but he failed and he was just uh, struggling and looking to find a new venture to start on and i was looking for a partner who can just support me to grow that venture so through a common friend we got introduced we shared our vision and he liked that vision and he uh, and that time we just started working together and uh, and we helped the company grow what's the how do you split responsibilities so he is mainly responsible for driving businesses so uh, client relationship client marketing driving businesses building relationships nice who are you looking for? What are you looking for right now? Are you looking for more events to be listed? Are you looking for more people? What's kind of the focus right now for 10 times? So focus is, uh, since, uh, as you know, say you also came to know about 10 times through uh, reference. Yeah. And right now, the concept is very limited to few people and is getting viral from people to people, people to people. Yeah. So our focus is right now to make this venture reach out to maximum audience definitely well everyone should go check out 10 times.com and see all the trade shows conferences any venues that you want to check out and uh, mac thank you for staying late at the office in india greatly appreciated it's been great so thank you again what i got you can't buy it resides between my eyes walk through the fire came out better on the other